Hi, this is Chris Frost, and you're watching Splintered Soul TV. Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking about how I've approached writing some of the material for this album. It's been a question that's been often asked to me, how I approach some of the material, and uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how I've done it. Okay, the song I've chosen to show you is Within Perfect Symmetry, which will be the final track on the album. And I've chosen this one because mainly because it's one of the band's personal favourites. But it's also a good opportunity to show you how I've approached the, um, the compositional side of this song. James and I spent quite a long amount of time discussing and trying different ideas out for this. And we were really happy when it was finally finished. And this is only of course in demo form, so uh, by the time you guys get and hear the album it's going to sound dramatically different from this but this is at least the compositional side and it's early stage for you to see how this was approached now within perfect symmetry is one of the ballads on the album so uh, if you're looking for a more upbeat track then you haven't got it <laughs> unfortunately but um, yeah I'd like to take you through this so what we've got here is it starts off very very soft it comes in with a little bit of a push with some of the percussion that was used but I'm just going to play the first section of this tune for you so you can have a listen So I'm just going to take you through what we've got first of all. So starting with the second section of the introduction here, we've got solo violins. I don't think we're using the first. Oh yes, in the second, uh, the third part of the intro we are. So we've got the solo violins. Um, we have cellos. Yep, yeah, cellos and basses. What else have we got? We have choirs and bowed quitales which I'm going to show in a second it's a sound that I really liked for this it's a bit like feedback in a way it's a um, very very ambient sound so it's perfect for this we have the clean guitar um, taiko drums one of my favorite sounds a bass drop and the drum kit obviously the bass guitar as well so if I just show you each section in turn we've got the kit here Now bear in mind this is all MIDI because uh, it's a bit difficult for me to record real drums at home and frankly I can't play them anyway. But James can, he has um, a Roland uh, V drum kit at his place so we throw a lot of ideas backwards and forwards that way so MIDI is great for that. Um, we have the Tyco drums which are especially nice if you want a nice big boom. Thus. Um, the bass guitar. Okay, and then we have the clean guitars. P 
played very badly, I might add. It was recorded, I think, around five in the morning when I was really tired, just laying an idea down. Again, this is all demo. Don't take it as what the track's going to be. And we've got the Cotales. I really love these. Wonderful, mysterious sound. Now we've got the choirs. Again, remember these are not real choirs. This is all MIDI. This will all be done again in the studio with real musicians. Again, very ambient and uh, I felt perfect for the piece. Now if we fast forward a little bit to the third section of the intro, you can have a listen to what the strings are doing here. So we have first violin, second violins, violas, cellos and basses. So this is the strings. And then I have a piccolo there as well to reinforce that melody trombones to add a nice bit of darkness to it. I don't think I'm using the French horn here. So again, here's the orchestral side with the brass. Now finally, I have the guitar here, rhythm guitar playing some very deep chords on the 8 string and one of the things that I really like to do that I especially enjoy doing in this is on the lower strings as well as playing your, your standard power chord fifth I'll put a third in there as well which really gives it quite a dark edge so you have a listen to this there's the third So again, if I put the whole band back in there, that's how this section sounds. And there we have it. That's the intro to Within Perfect Symmetry. And I hope uh, to have some more videos up for you soon. Thanks for watching.